Moving on, the Ministry of Agriculture is seeking a billion shillings to purchase maize from farmers during the next season. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Linturi says this aims at stabilizing market prices and purchase the grain for the strategic food reserve. On his part, Elgon Managing Director Dr. Bimal Kantaria wants the government to contract more companies to supply subsidized fertilizer. Zambia is going to give us a uh, miss and uh, we are in the processes of uh, discussing and seeing how they will be able to bring it in. And I think the Ministry of uh, Cooperatives has had discussions right now because uh, Zambia has been trying to aggregate from their end and uh, I don't think we'll have a problem. But the commitment is once this harvest is done, the cost of Unga will come down to levels that Kenyans have not experienced. It's asking for money from Treasury that can be able to set a price that I'm taking the means to get to stabilize the market. So I'm looking for a stabilization fund right, of the prices so that anyone uh, must buy above the prices that I will set because I'll be offering a certain price. Uh, subsidy program which was very effective. As you know, this year is going to be a bumper harvest for maize. It's been a wonderful year. We have good rain and good fertilizer at the right price. So I think this year is going to be a good year for food prices to come down. So that we commend government. The only problem we have now is that fertilizer prices internationally have come down to a subsidy program, which was very effective. As you know, this year is going to be a bumper harvest for maize. It's been a wonderful year. We have good rain and good fertilizer at the right price. So I think this year is going to be a good gear for food prices to come down. So that we commend government. The only problem we have now is that fertilizer prices internationally have come down to such a level that they were 2019 and 2018. So we're asking government that if, you, if they can stop distributing through KNTC and NCPB, but use the 10,000 aggravate shops that are out, are out there so that everybody gets a piece of the pie. The second one is that instead of awarding the tender to two or three companies, there are now nine fertilizer blending companies in this country, brand new, spent about a billion shillings in new machinery. If that government business can be spread to all the players in the industry so that everybody can benefit from the government subsidy program and then use the 10,000 aggregate um, uh, um, distributors to distribute the fertilizer.